On a typical morning, I would probably show you dismantling the whole campsite. However, it is done. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Although Marcus has a story to tell about his night. So this thing happened and um, I thought we weren't going to talk about it. Okay, okay, so Kim might have recommended that I set up my bed before I go to sleep last night. And I was like, no, 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 Kim, I know what I'm doing. I'm an experienced camper. And I slept on the wrong side of the sleeping bag in the short end and could not get my sleeping bag on. So I wake up this morning and I'm like, guys, like I'm too broad for the sleeping bag. This is all wrong for me. And then I look and I'm like, oh, I, I, I was sleeping on the wrong side. And I was wondering why my feet were out the whole night. And I thought that like bears were gonna come and like eat my feet off. But needless to say, I learned my lesson. So tonight I'm gonna probably still do it wrong, but I'm gonna try my best to do it right. <laughs> Just so everybody know we, Dismantled camp, and I have not had a coffee. <laughs> so I went to go relieve myself in the bathroom, and um, in a very clean, hygienic, and sanitary bathroom, mind you. And I thought that the person in the next stall was Kim, so I said, "Hey, Kim." I'm like, "You there?" I'm like, "Do you want to do battle shits?" And nobody answered, which I thought was pretty rude. And I get back, and Kim's like, "I never went to the bathroom." So I just asked a complete stranger if they wanted to battleship me. Um, In the middle that's... of nowhere. <laughs> I can't, I can't. to our second location cute little spot here and now we're gonna set up a tent let's see if we're faster today We are here at Kakabika Falls. Kakabika. <laughs> Kakabeka. Kakabeka. Kaka. Yep. We're here at the falls and we are loving it. Look at this behind us, guys. How beautiful this is. Kim decided she wanted to do it on the other side. Why? And she was epically wrong, uh, which is normal. No, I'm kidding. She's usually right. So the one time we're right. The one time. <laughs> we're going to take it. This is a gorgeous view right now. We're going to milk it. Milk it, baby. Milk it. Enjoy it with us. <laughs> Hello, you gorgeous biatches. And here comes Steph, back from fetching some water from the well. I'm fetching water. I'm surprised you weren't carrying it on your head. I was saying to Kim that that's how I envision your like vision of I'm also wondering why camping. You got so much. I don't know. I wanted to see how much I can get. Put it on there. It's almost bedtime. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm a little bit scared because it's raining. Kim had this thing about the tent might get wet. No. I thought that's the tent's supposed said. to be waterproof. I did, but if there's a heavy rain, you have to be prepared for everything. So it's more just preparing you. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't matter, but just in case. Just in case. Yes. yes. I'm getting tired. Marcus is still sitting outside in the screen. I don't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Chit-chatting, maybe. Tomorrow, we have an eight and a half hour drive, but we will be in an entirely new province, and we've never been to it before. Yeah, first time. Manitoba. Yeah. Oh, I had a joke for you. I haven't had a chance to tell you yet. What is it? What month is a tree's favorite month? September. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. Mm, that was pretty good. Thanks. That's pretty good. Yep. Okay, good night. Good night. Day three, still have not found a moose, but I'm hopeful. Last night, I swear, it was raining, right? All night. It was quite, honestly really quite scary for me. And then at one point, I jumped out of my sleeping bag. I was going to say bed doesn't exist. 2.45 in the morning, I jumped up. And I swear, I thought that the, the tent had caved in on us. Like, I, I, I reached up and the tent was kind of like on my face. And I was like, oh no, oh no, and Kaya was all the way next to me. And I was like, are we okay, are we okay? I was like, are we flooded, are we flooded? And Kim's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then, I, I you know, asleep. my eyes started to, what do you call it now, refocus, and I realized, oh, right, I'm blind. <laughs> so the depth of feel is very uh, misleading. Okay, so the tent was completely fine and you yeah. were just... Oh, the tent was for sure fine. No worries whatsoever. Anyways, I feel like... It's fine. I feel like if the worst thing that's happened to Steph so far is her dreams, like from a camping perspective, I think we're doing quite well. Yeah. First night it was either a bear or a Sasquatch. Tonight, last night, she thought that the freaking tent was caving in. Yeah. What do you think will happen tonight? And here I am, I'm like, she didn't even drink with us last night. And <laughs> I mean, the only thing I heard is when I was listening, watching some YouTube videos, I heard a lot of this. Was that Marcus or Kaya? Oh. Uh, maybe, Either. you know, we were having battle nerves. <laughs> battle snores, battle snores. Battle snores. Where are we going? Manitoba. No pimming. So, no the three of us have never been to Manitoba, so we are Yay. going to experience an entirely new province of Canada together. Yay! Okay, so can anybody name ten. all the provinces of Canada? Yes. Go. Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, uh, Manitoba. Northwest Territories, Northwest okay. Territories, um, Newfoundland, Labrador, Nunavut. Ontario, Ontario, Prince Edward um, Island, Carl I forgot, um, Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, yes, Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, Yukon. There's another one. We did alphabetically. There we, go. we forgot Quebec. Quebec. Okay, so eleven. Everybody forgets. I Quebec. was just. <laughs> <gonna say that. laughs> no one said you can't stop for lunch. Nice. <laughs> She's like, yeah, this dog kind of likes me, I think. After a grueling 92 kilometers driving on straight gravel, our butt cheeks are very numb. But every time something happens, the result is just worth it.
Okay, look. Huh. Oh, that Marcus, what did you do? I marinated the chicken. And? And it turned out amazing. <laughs> like me. We couldn't find firewood at this place, at our campsite. And um, our neighbors told us that we would have to drive to the next campsite to get the wood, which is half an hour away on the same gravel road. So half an hour there, half an hour back, just to hopefully have some campfire tonight because it's a really nice day it's a beautiful camp and we just want to enjoy camp life right Kim yes doing illegal things we have to pick up wood from the ground so that we can make fire because we don't have wood so we're just going to pretend that we have wood make some fire because why not right all i can say is that was a very interesting experience i feel like a i feel like a bad girl <laughs> went to steal you wood up, you didn't steal wood you just picked up wood off the ground i picked up wood chips off the ground at someone else's campsite <laughs> desperate measures End of day three. Mm -hmm. New things that I've done today. I've peed in the wild. <laughs> we have a wild peer on our hands. <laughs> so I learned today that we can build our own fire by stealing wood um, <laughs> from nature, of course. And I just heard something over there and I think we're gonna die. <laughs> um. I really appreciate a flushing toilet. Who knew? I was gonna say, I learned that I'm a toilet snob. <laughs> yes, very much so. Very much so. But there's something about peeing in the wild that feels friggin' amazing. Um, for you, for ladies, it's a wee bit different. We can get you one of those little cups. It's, it's a wee bit, it's a wee bit different. It's a wee bit different. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're all just pee pole. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we say goodnight. Goodnight, you beautiful. Yes, <laughs>